that message, a lesson from Ezra, totally hit home because I just helped a friend get a YouTube started as he read the Word of God. Then we did a, a praise and worship session. Oh my goodness, my screen is just going nuts. Just a minute. We did a praise and worship session. And we first time I went there, I couldn't do the song. It just, everything fell apart. And this time, the voice was good. And, you know, we, we did good. We got the Word of God up. And it was happy. And the song went well after, you know, a couple of takes. And it went well. And I knew I could feel a kickback from the dark side, just like... Dutch is saying that the enemy kicked back and stopped the building um, of the temple. I left my friend's house. I, I, Mind you, I have a clean record in driving. And for some reason, everything was wobbly in the car. And I ended up hitting a like the side of the road. And it knocked my tire out, blew my tire out. Um, Holy Father got me to the mechanic um, walked home in the cold and I sat down to do my readings and it felt like something was literally throwing the Bible out of my hand like something was harassing me literally I couldn't even get my Bible to sit straight and it's like something was like pushing at me and I sat there and I said, I know exactly what this is. It was a harassing spirit, just like uh, Dutch Seach was talking about Ezra. And it was just like pushing my Bible. I couldn't even get it to sit straight. And I said, all right. Everything fumbled. I couldn't get the, the first take. Just like at, at my friend's house, the first day we did it, it didn't work out. The reading of the Word of God, the, the voice was not there. We went a second time. And it went golden. But I got harassed afterwards, I tell you. Um, and I knew it. And I prayed. But when I sat down, you could, you could, I mean, the word of God is so holy and pure that I knew exactly what it was. And it's what Dutch Sheets is talking about. What a timely word. Exactly. And um, my friend is dealing with stuff like that at his house he's having to clean things out spiritually because his ex was a filthy uh witch who invited that stuff and now he's got to deal with cleaning his house so we are trudging through just like they are with the temple and i'm going should i go back should i do this am i you know because am i in danger should i but you know what we can't just throw down our tools and give up um, yes, it's rough. Yes, I've been attacked in that house already once severely. And I didn't have a prayer guard up and I was too laxadavia. And today I was praying Psalm 91 and we prayed Psalm 91 together. And I left praying. I made sure I had my prayer hat on, my prayer shawl. But there was something like a dizziness, like literally being attacked, my body physically from the outside being attacked to where I couldn't even drive, but it's all, it's the same spiritual warfare. So, you know what? The devil doesn't kick a dead dog. So if you're hitting stuff that is powerful, you're going to get some kickback. You know, people that live a life that's so serene and there's no problems, they're probably not kicking any, up any dirt and you know, making a commotion for the kingdom of our Holy Father. Um, I'm reading the Word of God my third time through. I'm going to start my third time through. I'm struggling to finish the last few days. Um, I don't have to do it this quickly, but I've been kind of pushing because I'm excited. I'm so excited. And um, he, the enemy fought me. I'm telling you, he brought evil people into my friend's house i mean just evil dragging my friend into darkness i went and got in the middle of it broke it up um stepped on toes it was rough to get back on 
you know, my mission on reading the Bible through, I mean, it really jostled me and pushed me off course, like for three readings. And I pushed and I let go of other things, other fun stuff. I let go of it and dug my heels in because um, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up the Bible reading. I refuse to. I refuse to. If I have to give up money to do it, I'm giving up money to do it. You know, going working and stuff. And I had a dream about it. I'm. I'm. I won't. I will not. I will not back down, because it's getting easier and easier to do my readings, and I want this to be a part of a way of life, because I love it. It's so saturating with fulfillment. It's like building a house. It feels like I'm building, like, you know, people, architects build a house. And, you know, just like they were building the temple, that's what it feels like. I feel like I'm building a house when I speak the Word of God. I, I don't know if you guys saw um, the warehouse visit I had in Holy Heaven. And I was shown how to bring the treasures from heaven down to earth. And I knew the answer. I just had not dug in deep. I know when you speak uh, the Holy Word of God that it brings miracles to pass. I had one when my son was three years old. But I thought that was just, a, you know, a, a, a narrow event. Just, just for that time was it for that time. But it's all of the Word of God, guys. And the more we speak it, the more faith our heart is going to have. When I came home, I was so distraught from, you know, hitting my side tower. I was flopping back on the road and on the back roads, praying that, you know, thank you, God, I'm going to be okay. And I thought, what's wrong with me? But when I sat down and I felt like something was literally pushing at my Bible, harassing me, just like those Israelites were being harassed when they were building the temple because the devil hates holy things. It would felt like harassment. And I just kept going. I had to do two or three takes to get a recording. And it's, you know, I struggled because nothing sat right. Everything was just flying everywhere. That's the same thing. And if you get that kickback, don't you back down. Be like Jacob. Jacob fought the angel and his hip was knocked out. He suffered. And sometimes you got to suffer to get that blessing. But you know what? There's nothing like Holy Father's blessings. There is nothing in this world. There is no money in this world. There is nothing that compares to the blessings from our Holy Father when we honor Him and we do, you know, the, the, the work He has for us on our plate and we are obedient. Yes, the enemy is going to fight us. You know, I, I wrote songs, and you know, I wrote those songs in the middle of sickness. And I, w I said, I'll be darned if this sickness is going to keep me back. And I got those songs written, and I, I uh, sang them, struggling, struggling to sing them. And I, I was not going to back down. And there they are. Um, I'm going to put the, it's Pound Victory 777. And that song, if you're ever feeling down, you get that song. If you can record it or whatever, I record it and then I put it on a faster pace because it gives you a, a, a better beat. Um, I'll see if I can put it up. Uh, but Pound Victory 777, that is a powerful song. I just, dreamed, I just dreamed about it this morning. Holy Father showed me I was going to use it. I did. I use it when I'm distraught and it just, man, it just takes off the layers of sadness and depression you got to walk to the beat of it and sing it and it just knocks off all the darkness it is powerful it's all based on scripture all based on scripture and it was inspired when i was watching kevin's a die and they were worshiping and that song just came <clears throat> it just came and it's been a blessing i'll tell you what it is powerful so if you're struggling Get that song, Pound Victory 777. It will knock darkness off. You will get victory. All right.